bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. So, Governor Everts, God bless his sweet little soul, has extended the stay at home order for Louisiana. I'm not mad at it. Definitely not mad at it at all because. Overall, when you think about it, I feel like anybody that takes the stance of, you know, protecting the people as a whole and as um, a health of standpoint, I feel like, you know, that should be, you know, greatly appreciated. Um, I respect anybody out here that doesn't feel the same. Good for you. But it, respect my opinion. Please don't get in no crazy little fighting match about it in my comments because I'm going to just block you because it's just not that serious. Respect my opinion and respect what that man has said and what he has made law or mandated um, for us to, you know, take into consideration. Um, so with that being said, I will be staying my ass at home but not really staying my ass at home because I am an essential worker. So yeah, I still got to go out here in this mess, but I just can't work in my shop, uh, in my salon suite at the shop. I can't work there. Cool, cool. It's fine. It's fine. Um, mainly because your girl has saved up, so I can do that. But yeah, it's a bummer. I'm really, really, really sad about it. Really, really sad about it. I literally want to cry. To be honest because I feel like I am so 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 behind um, and I'm really going to be starting from scratch with a lot of people um, people are less susceptible of showing back up for like appointments um, Especially like the Brazilians. Everybody, you know, that has came and been very consistent with their appointments, they they love the effects of it and they know that it is not going to hurt anymore and it's you know over time it gets less painful. But that first initial Brazilian appointment, yeah, I I feel you all together. But to start over all the way again is so saddening hurts my feelings because when you begin to do Brazilians um, you get so used to being able to do them just like that just like that knock them out back to back to back to back but when it comes to that first appointment um, I'm not saying you have to baby the customer but you do have to baby the customer and you know it takes up more time. I can do it in 12 minutes or less, 15 minutes or less, but that first initial um, appointment, you have to, you know, you kind of have to, you have to coddle them. And I mean, it's totally understandable, but whew, it's very, very time consuming. So me being able to do 50 to 100 in one day, um, so probably being able to do 25 in one day um, is what's going to, you know, make you like, Ugh, dang it. And, you know, make you so tired because you having to sit there and you have to take so much time on one client. Um, and it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. It's, it's the Corona's fault. Um, but yeah, it's really, really sad. So I poured me up glass. A white Zinfandel, my favorite. But yeah, let's do some color correcting. So that's what I wanted to do for this video um, is to um, color correct or show you guys how I would co color correct if I was bothered by, you know, my dark spots or color correcting. Do I feel like you have to color correct? Absolutely not. I don't think so because if a company claims that their um, foundation is medium to full coverage or full coverage 
or buildable medium coverage to full coverage um i don't feel like you should have to color correct i just don't that's my that is my freaking personal opinion um in my head i feel like people are a little bit freaking delusional that they still see darkness um underneath a foundation yes i think you're delusional um especially if a foundation is full coverage um, do I feel like you're wasting a product if you color correct? If it's a full coverage foundation that you're going to apply over top of it, yeah, I think you're wasting your time and you're wasting your product and you're wasting your money, but it's your money, not mine. You know what I'm saying? So I respect you, you know, I respect it and, you know, to each zone. But no, I do not feel like you should have to color correct. And with the techniques that I gave you guys in the foundation routine or how I apply my foundation, you can get full coverage out of your foundation. Even if it's not a full coverage foundation or a medium coverage foundation, if it's a buildable coverage foundation, you can get full coverage. So, um, yeah, I feel like color correcting is, is the to each his own. If you want to do it and you like to do it, go for it. But today that's what we're gonna do we're gonna color correct um i picked up two um color correctors from uh what you call the place target one is the um pro conceal um high definition concealer from la girls in the color orange corrector which looks like this here the other is the hd corrector from the true complexion line from Black Radiant, which looks like this here. Um, I've never used this one here, the Black Radiance one, um, but I have used the um, LA Girls corrector. I used it in a video a very, very long time ago. And I've also used the um, corrector that is in the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, six pan um, palette. Excuse me, that wine. Um, I've used one from, it's Makeup Forever, I've used one that was from LA Colors, I used a lot of them, but again, once I got, you know, got to, you know, just adding that into my routine, I, like I said, I really feel like it was just a step that I didn't have to do, um, and some days when I was in a rush, and I didn't do what I needed to do, um, after, doing my color corrector I would look orange I would literally look orange and that's mainly like not changing my brush or not setting that um, orange corrector um, I would look orange I didn't like my foundation or I didn't like how the color of my foundation changed so yeah and then ultimately like before I started doing like my peels and all that I feel like I would have been correcting my entire face and that honestly makes me self-conscious, like even more self-conscious about, you know, all of my dark spots. And when you think about it, when you start adding more and more steps into your, your routine to cover up, you know, your hyperpigmentation or cover up your, um, your acne marks, you get more down in the dumps in that second. Or you get a little restless, you know, get a little annoyed. And I didn't, I really, really definitely did not like that at all. When I know, like, for a fact, bitch, you don't see no damn hyperpigmentation underneath this. No, you don't. So, no, I wasn't um, color correcting. Like, I was out. I stopped after I got finished or I hit pan with my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I just stopped altogether. Like, I just wasn't worried about it. It's just... Like I said, it's honestly not that serious to me. All my foundations are basically full coverage foundations, if not a medium, almost full coverage foundation. So, like I said, I don't worry about it. I just don't. I don't care to worry about color correcting. So, because I'm still going to jabber, and I guess I'll make this a chit chat video. But as you can tell, or if maybe you can tell, I have this coloration all in this here area all the way to underneath my face there's a big dark spot right here over here just basically everywhere like i said when i'm about to do this it's going to make me a little self-conscious i mean may not look like it or anything like that but 
I don't like having to co cover up all that. But hey, it's life. I learned a little bit too late how to take care of my skin. So we're going to start and I'm going to use, I think I'm going to try and use um, this LA Girl Pro Concealer on this side. And then on the other side, I'm going to use the um, Black Radiance to really, you know, see how I like the two as well. So I am going to use the applicator straight from it, from the Pro Conceal one. And this is my product. That's what I was meaning to say. I'm a little tipsy. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna do like a light coat of it first. And then I'm going to basically kind of pat at them. And so also if you kind of want to cover up your um your mustache this is a a good way to cover up any darkness or purpley purpley shades to kind of uh, counteract them or correct them got a little mustache i'm kind of going through this um this COVID 19 with you guys to stay at home order my legs are hairy as hell my underarms like like i got Oh God, some hair up underneath here. Like, for real. I got some hair. I'm, I'm, I'm going through it with everybody. Color correct right here. It's like, some in there. And whatever is like kind of left. I'm going to dot it. So I had gotten a call from Akira, so I had to stop recording, but I'll let y'all hear what she says later. But far as this part goes right here, I am just lightly patting this um, orange corrector into my skin using uh, my beauty blender. Um, I chose to use this one because I'd rather the beauty blender um, be orangey or have that orange tint on it than one of my brushes, especially one of my white brushes. So, I am literally just patting this in. <laughs> she is, if you know Akira, you know Akira is hella crazy and funny. But, um, just patting, patting, patting. I added just a tad bit more into um, some little spots. Um, but I really didn't. I'm just OCD about certain things. Um, and my dark spots is one. But again, like I said, I just don't feel like I needed this orange corrector because the foundation you'll see later covers up every single thing. Like, it's just full coverage, and I just don't feel like I need it. But whenever you're doing um, your correctors, make sure that you pat it in. Do not swirl. If you swirl whatsoever, you are just literally moving that product around, and you're not going to get that get any of your 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 purples or blues inside of your skin to be covered up because you're just moving your product around so please 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 pat 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 that product on instead of swirling it around this here is a black radiance um orange corrector as well and i'm going to tell you about that one in just a second Tutorial on today. Let me do your own voice Color correcting. Hi, this is Serena. I'm hitting y'all little hoes with another exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I would not. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, little horse. So this is Tony. This is your girl Serena, aka Manny Pooh, aka all the stuff that you want. I'm gonna use all of it. <laughs> Fucking phone. I got to finish this video. All right. All right. So I'm gonna tell y'all right now. 
this here um black radiance uh corrector it ain't where is it it's more um the consistency is it's so weird it's it comes out like a thick consistency but then it's like a water weight feel and consistency um so it's like it's it's thin it looks thick and and whatnot but it's like fluffy and thin like it's not covering it covered up here because that's really not like it's really not as dark as nothing so i can use it for my under my under eyes and not worry about like okay how orange this is over here but for all of this down here baby i didn't did two coats and it ain't did nothing for me <laughs> it ain't did nothing for me now the la girls one yeah this one yeah it did do really really good it's covered up everything i can't see nothing and honestly i really didn't use a whole, whole lot and it really really covered it up so we're gonna move right along right along what i would do personally i would do me we're gonna keep saying this what i would do next would be to set it because it is a cream both sides just take um whatever whatever powder you want to take it could be your translucent powder it can be your finishing powder whichever powder you choose it really doesn't matter as long as you set it um, that way there is a barrier barrier between the this here corrector and your foundation that you're going to apply over it so i'm just taking like a little light coat of it i know that looks like a lot but it's really light and i'm going to set all of that in place to create a barrier Now I will say this one um, looks more in like in person. I'm not gonna say it's more salmony colored, but it is. It's definitely a light color. When you put them up together, this one is definitely light, and this one's like there's a big big difference between the two. Um, but regardless, you won't like it's 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 orange based, so you would still want this to work like this one does. And it's just it's it's just not. I can literally still see um, all of the hyperpigmentation through those two coats. This is literally it's like one coat on this side, and I don't see anything. Super super thick. If you've ever worked with the LA Girl, um, the LA Girl concealer, you know how thick it is and how well it covers. And it's doing just that with this concealer. Um, so yeah. Would I, which one would I choose? I would choose the LA Girl. So the next thing I would do is I would take whatever foundation I'm going to use. And right now, because I've been getting a little light, you know. I feel like I'm feeling my stuff a little bit. I picked up the, um, what you want to call this? The Fenty Cosmetics Foundation in the shade 385, which looking at it, I'm like, no girl it's not you but i'm gonna just go for it and i would literally apply it like i regularly apply my foundation losing my buzz i 
Like I said, it's not a bad color. But it's definitely not something I'm, I'm used to or I would like. Knocking in my door like he was the police. Okay, so. And in person. Ooh, shit. I lie. In person, I'm looking hella orange. But not orange. It's more that the color is not. The color is warmer than I would go for. Warmer and lighter than I would go for. And I'm definitely not liking it. So, yeah. This is about all I'm going to do for this little video. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. We ain't going for no cool look. Especially with it being a little bit off. In person, I don't know if like the lights is giving you everything in person. But on this side over here where I did the actual orange corrector. Um, it's giving me a little orange tint. Give me a little orange tint. But. Um, on this side over here, it's decent, but I still have like that pigmenty um, orange look as well. Um, and I feel like it's more or less the actual foundation and not the product. I'm looking real smooth. I feel like I'm real smooth. But the actual foundation is off. It's off. I don't... It... Mm -mm, mouth it's really 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 off um yes i can help it with um foundation not foundation but contour and highlighting but anytime your foundation is off like this is off me personally i would start the fuck over <laughs> start over like completely I don't care how much I need if my foundation is off or my foundation doesn't make me feel good especially if, like the finish isn't like I want it um I'm gonna start over like or I'm not just gonna do anything at all I'm just wiping my face and walk out the door but if my foundation is off ooh, no, 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 no. I can't do it sis. I can't do it so yeah it's off Ooh, it is off off I don't, 385 is not the color to go for with me. I'm like, I usually wear 420 and it's a little bit off, but it's darker than me and I can definitely work with it. So I think I'm going to go up to about 390, 395 maybe and see what those are looking like. But this here, oh no, sis, what are you doing? No, 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 no. I got to hurry, I got to hurry up and take this off because but you guys that is definitely what i would do um with like my correction steps is to apply the corrector apply um some powder over it, it can be a, a light amount it can be a, a nice amount a generous amount of powder over top of it and then i will go over it with my foundation um i tend to usually um change the foundation brush but like i, I applied it and i pressed it in with um, the beauty blender so I didn't have to change brushes or anything like that but nah nah no nope, can't do it so those are my steps that's what I would do um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this very very long video about you know my sadness and my grief at the moment but thank you guys again so much and I will see you in my next video bye